This is Cruise News Today with Doug Parker. Good morning. Here's your Cruise News for Monday, November 13th. Well, back to service after five weeks of being laid up. Royal Caribbean's Rhapsody of the Seas returned to service on Sunday. Following being out of service for over a month, the ship's last revenue cruise was when it dropped off guests in Haifa on October 9th and hasn't had any cruises since then, except last month when Royal Caribbean worked with the State Department to evacuate Americans who were stuck in Israel and relocate them to Cyprus. The ship is now doing a transatlantic crossing from Barcelona to Port Everglades. The ship will arrive in Florida later this month. And Virgin Voyages' next ship, Brilliant Lady, is slowly starting to come together. After numerous delays, the ship started her first round of sea trials over the weekend. When Brilliant Lady returns from her current sea trial, she'll go back to the wet dock, make performance adjustments, and head back out to sea for a second round of trials. After that, she'll be deemed officially seaworthy. The ship was initially set to enter service next month, but was delayed due to shipyard issues. The line says it'll sail sometime next year. And Margaritaville at Sea is launching now three night cruises starting in August of next year. Currently, it does two nights only. Departing every Friday and returning on Monday, these cruises will feature a full day at sea on Saturday before arriving Freeport, Bahamas on Sunday and then back to Palm Beach on Monday morning. The Margaritaville Cruise brand is a collaboration between the former Bahamas Paradise Cruise Line and the Margaritaville Resort brand, which was launched last year. The current ship, the Margaritaville at Sea Paradise, used to be the Costa Classica built in 1991 until it was rechristened as the Margaritaville at Sea Paradise with the late Jimmy Buffett in 2022. And a congratulation to Carnival Cruise Line's Cruise Director Lee Mason, who took home this year's honor of Cruise Director of the Year from Porthole Cruise and Travel Magazine. Now, Lee, who hails from the UK, said, What an unexpected honor to have won this award for the second consecutive year. Thank you to all of our amazing guests that made this possible. Mason also holds the company's record for raising the most donations for St. Jude. During the inaugural voyage of Carnival Celebration, he raised over $50,000 for the hospital. Congrats, Lee. Well deserved, bud. And cruise line stocks were up on Friday. Carnival Corporation up 3.6%, 12.76. Royal Caribbean up 2.4%, 94.91. And Norwegian up, uh, I don't have it on the screen, 13.18 though. If you have a lead on a story, you can send it my way. Tips at cruiseradio.net. Have yourself a great Monday. I'm Doug Parker with Cruise News Today.